on YouTube, it's Christian here, and today I'm coming back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering facial tracking within Buju. Now, before I get started, I want to say that if you don't have Buju, the process is pretty much the same for any motion tracking program. So, um, yeah, just don't be discouraged by the fact that I'm using Buju. So, if you don't know what facial tracking is, it's basically when you just track the motion of a person's face so that way you can replace something on there. And to hopefully better explain this to you, here's an example from one of my favorite TV shows ever. It's actually my favorite TV show, Boardwalk Empire. So, here we go. Alright, so as you can see, they had the little tracking dots on his face, and they replaced it with a mesh, and then they had it on there, and, you know, they tracked the little uh, wounds and everything on his face. So today we're going to be going over that in Buju. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the time to go over um, the rest of uh, the actual 3D um, part of it. So hopefully you like this. So a few tips before shooting this. You want to make sure you shoot at a high shutter speed to avoid motion blur. And you also want to have objects on your face to track. You can cover those up later. But as you can see, pretty cool. Have these uh, little... Uh, piece of paper on your face, um, really nothing fancy. You can actually pay a lot of money for these special little tracking dots, but that's what I have so far. First thing you want to do is make a mask around the guy's face you want to track. So we'll just kind of go through a rough mask here, and I don't know if I want his ear. Just kind of maybe do the whole head, and good. All right. So now we're going to know that mask, we're going to go ahead and invert it, let's remove our masks, and we're going to go ahead and invert it, and press OK, and so as you can see, it selected everything around the face. So now we're going to go ahead and track our footage normally, track features, We'll hit all of our frames and just hit start. And once this is done, I will come back. Now that we're done tracking here um, and doing principle solving, we have our beautiful face for track. And now what we're going to do is we're going to solve our camera. Get out my smoothness and hit start. So now that our camera solve is done, we can see that our tracking points beautifully stick to our face if it's done correctly. And we are, it's a great, great track. So now we're going to go into our 3D view and just see how the face looks. And as you can see, rough outline of the face. And I don't know why it's not doing anything, but we're going to hold shift. Or, yeah, we're going to hold shift or control, whatever, when you want. And, or shift, sorry. And we're just going to look around and our face is right there. Looking good. Now, normally I would set up the environment if we're going to take into a 3D object, but um, uh, I'm going to leave it like it is. So, let's exit out of 3D view. Or not. Yeah. And then, so we're going to zoom out. Or trying to get just the full, uh, all the points in frame. Let's select all of them. And all of them. Sorry, I'm having a hard time selecting all of them. Alright, so now that we have all of them selected, we're going to go to 3D Tasks, and we're going to say, make generate mesh from current frame. Mesh looks good. Alright, so now what you want to do is you're ready for uh, your actual exporting, and we are good. So, we're going to go ahead and export Camera Solve. Make it whatever 3D program you use or After Effects. I use 3D Studio Max. And you want to say, static camera, moving scene. Alright, so now we have that. Scale it by about 1,000 or 100, either one, and just hit save. And once you're done with that, you should be ready to take it into your 3D program and you have your beautiful mesh made. And it beautifully tracks to your face and everything perfectly falls in line. So thanks for watching my tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it thoroughly and learned a great deal. Um, make sure that you subscribe if you liked it 
and please feel free to ask any questions. Um, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. There will be a QR code after the video that will link you to my Twitter account. But as of right now, saying bye, Lethargic Bananas out.